musings and other nonsense, whimsical stories, poems, and songs for children. Written and read by Peter G. Reynolds. That's me. Your support allows us to bring you quality stories each week. Please visit buymeacoffee.com slash musings to donate and help cover our production costs. This episode is called One-Eyed Cat, and it's based on the true story of a cat named Harriet. You can learn more about the organization that rescued her after the story. There once was a cat with only one eye, but that eye, you see, could spot any lie. She liked to be petted, but had become scared. Some people were kind while others just glared. But she didn't mind. She liked it alone. Instead of one place, she'd much rather roam. But when you're alone, unfortunately, it can often be extremely lonely. So one day she said, I'm too tired to roam. I just want to find a forever home. It wouldn't be easy. And this fact was key. She lived on an island in the Aegean Sea. It was full of cats, all shapes and colors. Half were her sisters and half were her brothers. Who'd ever choose her? A cat with one eye? When beautiful cats weren't in short supply. Then one day a man with a name like a flower came to the island. His mood was quite sour. The cat looked at him with one shining eye and she couldn't spot even one single lie. So she purred, she stretched, she rolled on her back. These were her weapons for this type of attack. The man couldn't resist. He was sour no more. He'd found the one thing he'd been searching for. And from that day on, they were never apart. The cat who lost an eye found a man with a heart. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please check out my picture book, Lost Hallway, Where Do Lost Things Go? Now available on Amazon. Harriet, the one-eyed cat, was born on the Greek island of Skathos. She was rescued by the Skathos Cat Welfare Association, who have been helping stray cats and those cats with disabilities since 2005. If you'd like to learn more or support their efforts, you can find a link in the description. See you next time.